September 27th, about a month away from the last or from the first frost. Um, everything's starting to wind down, or has wound down, and some of the fall stuff's coming up. Peppers are finishing up. Hey, bud. Uh, I just picked all the peppers in my front yard, and I got a bunch here. Those longer ones are the Del Toros, which have worked out awesome. These dudes. So I'm going to keep on doing those Del Toros. This was some kind of hybrid that I got from the store, and it did well. So I think I'll keep on doing a couple of the heirlooms and a couple of the um, hybrids. So um, bell pet or the jalapenos, they they're kicking butts. You know, if anybody that's growing those know that there's a whole bag of them there on the side, and I got a pepper or a jalapeno plant still over there. I need to take take the peppers off. So I got a ton of those. I think I'm going to try to make some salts this year so I can have them on through the winter time. Um, ended up planting some kale in the pot here. It's starting to do good. Um, like I said in the past few videos, I really don't get that much sun in this backyard. So in reality, I probably should have been doing my fall plants out in the front yard. But um, those are mainly for my peppers. And they're still going, so I wasn't able to get the uh, fall plants in the front yard. So I just put some in, in, the, in the backyard to see how they do. And they're surprisingly doing pretty good. Um, you can see that kale's doing pretty good. The, uh, I've got some uh, collards, champion collards and broccoli. I think this is the collards. I can't tell. They look so similar when they're young. But uh, the kale tree is still doing good for the really colored tree. Um, the pak choy, it isn't pak choy. Uh, that's what this guy is. That's ready to harvest. I need to go ahead and harvest that probably. Another one in here. What I did with that was I started getting the black beetles. And I was afraid that it was going to just be eating up the black beetles. Those little teeny pinheaded black beetles. But what I did, I took some screen here. I put some seven dust in there. And then I put this little dome. And then I covered it up with this screen to keep any bumblebees from getting in there. So that seven dust is nasty, but it works. But I, doing it this way helps protect the pollinators from getting hurt by the um, seven dust. So that worked out really well. So I think I might end up doing that on my pak choy or any of the smaller plants I can fit in there that I need to use seven dust with. The uh, oh, Brussels sprouts, this is the first time I ever tried them. I don't think I got enough sun in back here. I doubt they'll have enough energy to put little, little bulbs, little Brussels sprouts off, but we'll see. I'm probably gonna just eat the leaves on those if it doesn't work out. Uh, that jalapeno is about done. That rain we just had brought it back to life. But I need to get these last peppers off here and make up some um, hot sauce. That hybrid, it ended up doing decent for being the shade of your backyard. That's one of the collars or broccoli that's stuck in there and it's not doing too well. Um, here's the main bed. Uh, I got a late start on my uh, lettuce so it's just popping up. We'll see if I get anything off of it, but I was hoping to get lettuce all through here, and I just got too late of a start. So next year I'll probably get a little bit earlier start on that. The kale's doing good. The kale's doing good. Another kale. Uh, collards and broccoli, and some leeks in between. Those leeks have really taken off uh, once this the temperature dropped a little bit, and we got some rain. And the amaranth, I need to come here and harvest this amaranth. Just harvest all those leaves before it gets the seed. I don't want it dropping all that seed down because this amaranth seeds are, there's tons of them once they mature. Actually, it might not even mature. I got it planted so so late. So either way, I need to get it harvested to give that broccoli a little bit more sun there. Um, the tomato, my hybrid 
uh, Sweet 100 collapsed over there. But it, I'm letting it go because it's still putting out some new sprouts. I'll see if I can get some tomatoes uh, before the end of the month before that frost hits. The beans keep putting them off over here. Um, I need to harvest it. I've got some bunch of new flowers and beans on it. Um, those worked out pretty good. They started slow, but they ended up putting a decent amount off. I've got so many beans I didn't know what to do with them. I ended up freezing them, and that just that didn't work out. I'll probably try to can them next year. Freezing just they don't taste good when they're frozen. But um, that's about it. Just a quick little update. I think everything's winding down. The uh, Swiss chard, the last few of them, they're doing decent. Those were second plantings in mid mid to later summer. Uh, the earlier ones dried up, but uh, these are starting to show. I mean, they look good, but I can tell they're not as healthy as they normally are. They're starting to get these little brown spots here, which tells me they're probably on their last legs. I think they'll probably be done here in another month um that's about it signing off